Hi, it's Christine. You're back on the Small Step Essentials. Happy Wellness Wednesday. Uh, I almost forgot it was Wellness Wednesday today. Uh, <laughs> so I didn't though. Here I am and I'm sneaking in right under the wire and I have a really good one for you. At least I hope you think so. I certainly think so um, because we are in the dead heat of summer and if there's anything we need, it is a good sunscreen. So I am bringing you a DIY, all natural, 100% all natural sunscreen. Yay! Um, if you are anything like me, you are leery of all those toxins and chemicals um, in all of our products, but especially in the sunscreen that we are putting on ourselves and our children all summer long. Uh, with good reason, because we want to protect ourselves and our kids from the UVA and the UVB rays. Um, but it would be nice if we could do that a little more safely uh, without the junk in there that has the potential to give us long-term negative effects. So, I really hope you are going to love this as much as I do. So what I did, I found this recipe last year. Um, I didn't make it up, it's it, I, it came from somewhere else. Um, but I tried it out. I wanted to make sure that uh, I liked it before I suggested it to anybody else or before I tried it on my kids. So all last summer I used this sunscreen and I really loved it. Um, I'm fair skinned as you can see and I didn't burn at all. Um, yeah, I liked the way it went on. It's also a spray which is super helpful especially if you are uh, a mom of kids that are running around, those lotions are great, but they are just not as convenient. So having a spray um, is something that I truly appreciate. Um, so yeah, this is it, and I'm going to give it to you now. I really hope that you're going to give this one a try, and uh, let me know how you like it if you do try it. So you only need a few ingredients, um, and they're easy to find. Look on Amazon, at your uh, health food store. Um, obviously the essential oils you can always get through me. I only recommend Young Living oils. Um, so that's it. Let me tell you what you're going to need. You are going to need wheat germ oil. Wheat germ oil is a carrier oil with the highest SPF, I believe. So it's really good um, and in this especially. And it's also, it feels good and goes into the skin nicely. Um, then you're going to need the fractionated coconut oil. Fractionated is the liquefied one, not the solid one that you find in the grocery store. Um, then you will need red raspberry oil, which also is high in SPF. By the way, the coconut oil is um, has SPF in it too, it's just uh, lower, so it's not going to be a, a high SPF there. Um, then in terms of essential oils, you're going to want carrot seed oil. Can you see that? Carrot seed oil. Um, and that has SPF in it as well. And then peppermint oil, which just smells really good and makes it smell yummy. Um, the carrot seed doesn't smell bad, it just has more of a nutty scent to it. So if you want something refreshing and minty, add the peppermint. And then um, kind of the magic ingredient is the sunflower lecithin. You could also use soy lecithin, um, but some people have soy allergies. So sunflower works just as well. And this is what emulsifies it, binds it all together, um, makes it nice and uh, you know sprayable, and it, this is what makes it kind of work. So can't miss this step. And then distilled water. So those are your ingredients. There's not that many of them. Um, and I just want to make sure that you know you have to do this uh, kind of this ingredients list or the directions in order. Um, because the, the lecithin has to go after the oils um, and mix those up to emulsify it before you add the water. Because if you add the water first, it's not going to bind and it's just not going to work. So make sure you do these steps in order. So let's get started. First, you're going to want to do um, the, the wheat germ oil. So I've got a quarter cup here. I'm going to do half of it with wheat germ oil and half of it with coconut oil. So I'm just eyeballing it. It's about right. Coconut oil. There we go. I actually might add a little more wheat germ. I don't I think I chipped it a little bit. Okay. So then we're going to put it into my little mixing cup. Next is this is when we're adding the sunflower lecithin. So you are going to want a half a teaspoon of this sunflower lecithin. And this is really sticky. So I you know, you might want to like wet your, oil up your little teaspoon, half 
half teaspoon. Oh my God. See, it's like molasses. Can you see that coming out? Super sticky. Okay. And then we're going to put that into our mixing cup. And we're gonna mix that in. I'm not sure if you can see, but it is blending right in there. Give it a good mix. Okay, once it's all mixed in and combined well, without any of those little pieces floating around, then you are going to move on and you're gonna add a tablespoon of red raspberry seed oil. This is a great oil. Again, like I said, it has a SPF component to it. Um, you can get it on Amazon, that's where I got mine. Or you probably can find it in the health food store as well. So one tablespoon of red raspberry oil. And then you're going to add your um, essential oils. So we're gonna start with the carrot seed oil and do about 20 to 25 drops of carrot seed oil. And I'm not good at count, talking and counting at the same time, so I've already lost track. Maybe 10. <laughs> These bottles have about 80 drops in them each, so approximately. So if you do like 23 <clears throat> in each bottle, then you'll get three different batches. And then I'm gonna do about 10 to 20 drops of peppermint. Again, this is just for fragrance. however minty you want to smell or you want it to smell, add as much as you'd like. That is good for me. Okay. And then we're going to add our distilled water and you're going to want two and a half tablespoons of distilled water. I've already put it into this cup. So one, two, oh, three. Okay. And then you're going to mix it all up. Oops. This makes approximately four ounces, of a four ounce bottle's worth. So you can see it's like really creamy, um, you know, thin enough to spray, but it's got a nice texture to it. And I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna pour it into my, I've got these two ounce bottles just cause this is what I have and I think it's easier to carry with me for travel. And I'm gonna fill this up and this should fill about two of these up. So there's the middle. Put the top on and it should stay well blended for a little while, but before you use it, you're gonna wanna give it a good shake. So let's see. I don't know if you can see, but it goes on nice. It goes right into the skin so it doesn't feel oily on top. Um, and it's really easy. So give it a try. Um, I am going to gift one person, one lucky person, a bottle of this great 100% pure natural sunscreen. Um, so anybody who shares this video uh, will be entered to win one of these. So please share, subscribe, tell your friends. I really appreciate it. Um, and that's it. I will see you next Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in.